so many people are agitating, so many people are, in fact, angry. But my question here is, who are we annoyed with? Who are we getting angry with? Fighting a just cause is fighting and having base. Fighting and knowing who you are fighting. We are Good still morning. here. Good afternoon. Good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. We are back again for UAAG Grant Update. So listen to this update. See you on the other side. Expecting, which I know that our expectation will not be cut off or cut short by the grace of God. God, whom we are serving, is always there for us. From the promise I made last time, I spoke that today on Wednesday we are going to embark on a WordPress conference. It is not cancelled and it can never be cancelled. Only one thing will cancel it. That is disbursement. But I want to spread out some things here for us to all understand because sometimes it's all about talking and talking too much. So I know very well that the God we serve is not a God that makes noise. He performs his miracles even without talking to people. He is that man we call a miracle working God. He is always there for his people and he will never disappoint his people. So today, so many things are going on underground. A lot of people are raising their heads. So many people are talking. So many people are agitating. So many people are, in fact, angry. But my question here is, who are we annoyed with? Who are we getting angry with? Fighting a just cause is fighting and having base. Fighting and knowing who you are fighting. Yes. That somebody or some people stood up to defend you or to stand in as leaders does not mean every stone should be thrown on them. As a father in the house, yes, you are a father. You are married to a woman with children. Sometimes every decision you take must not be alone. Yes. You have to bring them all into your decisions for that family to work well and achieve success. Every one of us here knew that this grand community has been full of plenty people who knows more than others, who has sense more than every other person, who is talking because they have mouth and they felt they are more understandable than others. They know it all. They, they, they are this, they are that. You know, you just come out, you talk. Without knowing, they have what they are causing the life of people. Let me straight it here to you that all these tensions we are creating, all these things we are doing, to God who made me and you, it's not making you righteous. It's not making you better than other people. But rather, it's making you look the way people have thought it in their minds. I don't know how they take it. It depends on how people take it. It depends on how they believe what you are saying. Coming out in a social media, you abuse this person, you cause that person. To the extent I hear some people calling people all manner of names. You are very stupid, you are idiot, you are this, you are that, for God's sake. If you see this person you are giving this name or you are abusing this way physically, can you do that? If you see this person you are abusing this way one on one, can you do that? No matter who you think you are, even though you are the authority, the highest authority, there are things you cannot do. You cannot even do it and go free. But we are doing it here because it is a social media. You go under one corner of your house, you just carry your phone, you raise your voice, abuse people, talk to people anyhow, and you just go and lie and thinking that it has all gone free. That is not the way. Use yourself to compare another person. If you are the one, people are abusing this way. Wherever you are, will you be happy? 
All we are just fighting is a common goal, a common cause, a just cause. Everybody will bring in the one you know that will help this thing work. Not rising up to say you want to go and fight or grab your group, you want to go and fight a post care, you want to go and fight the church, you want to go and do this, you want to go and do that. Doing it at whose detriment? Doing it because of who and for who? And doing it and what will be the result of doing it? Are we calculating things before we do them, before we say them? This group of persons we play push in there are doing everything humanly possible to see that me and you smile. They want to make sure that these things come out. If it is in their power to have this thing and give it to us since, they would have done that. They all of us forgot to know that we are in a country called Nigeria, our own country, that we have leaders that are very funny. Very funny leaders. That sometimes what concerns me and you, the masses doesn't concern them. It doesn't bother them. What bothers them is that one that is their own. That one that they want is what bothers them. It's what bothers them. And we are me and you doesn't understand all these things. Our own is we just rise up, we fight innocent persons, we, we accuse innocent persons, we blame them for nothing, and this and that. Tell me who will it be that will be happy. I'm telling us this thing because I have said today a lot of calls has come and the, we are leaders who listen to our people. When they are saying, oh, see this and that, this and let us give them at least a Friday. I will not say no to that. I will not say no. We listen. If from today to Friday, nothing happens, then our press conference will go on. And listen to me, I'm not telling that our press conference is going on that we are going to fight the government. We are not going to fight any government. They are our government. And there is no way we can fight them. We can never fight our government. We are only letting them know that this thing that is before us are what many people have staged everything they have to. I hope these people are not still coming out with rhetoric. You know, today is Saturday and uh, Friday was yesterday and uh, everywhere is still calm so they will still wait and observe people have committed out of things to eat people have borrowed money people have sold their homes people have sold their lands people have borrowed have bought. in fact a lot of things has happened and as i speak to you so many people are in the hospital so many people have died so many people are in coma so many people are even dying so people have cannot eat so good children are out of school a lot of things has happened why must we still be adding soft injury that raising tensions again over all these things our goal is to look for the source where these things are happening from and see how we can help out to see it happen this is what we are asked for i plead again to all ceos in nigeria all ceos i plead to you all please let us all get ready when we seek we have already we have already been doing it and this time around, that we're almost at the end of it, we'll not be tired. The reason we are doing this is for, for, for government to make it more faster. For them to understand that human beings are the ones here. They are putting into all these pressures and all these tensions. It's not them over there. It is me and you that are facing all these things. If we're facing it, we don't add to what we're facing. We need to now look for a way to addressing this matter to the government. Begging them and pleading them to please help us do the needful and do it on time. This is what we are at for. Not out to start fighting people who are supposed to fight worry people don't so to worry this person talk in the social media you accuse you abuse this person talk there you worry you do this you sort no now we don't need to be doing all these things as leaders we are we don't need to be doing all these things now we know truly yes he has a point he has a point to what he's saying so today is saturday and uh, we waited we waited that's why we delayed in uh, bringing our update we waited to see if press conference would have kicked off yesterday or the modality yesterday we are still waiting see you on our next update